Hey there friends! Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a kitchen decorate and it's gonna be a candy land and gingerbread theme. So if you want to see this video, please continue watching. Now that the shelves are cleaned up, I'm going to begin here using this icicle fringe at the very top. And this is what it looks like. I think it's going to look cute. The icicle fringe is up and I'm going to now use this blanket snow to just kind of cover up the top shelf. And I'll show you here. There's the fringe, and now I'm just going to kind of make it look like a whole bunch of snow just fell here. You know what I mean. Now that the snow is complete, you can see I've already placed up my large gingerbread houses. And I initially only had one of these large houses. But I found another one and decided I may as well get it. I like symmetry and I like balance. So I decided why not. And as you can see at the back of the wall I placed a beaded garland. And I hung these gingerbread snowflakes on either side of the sign. And I'm just going to continue building down here and placing well, on either side of the sign, the gingerbread houses. And I'm going to place these, they're paper cups. And I'm just using them to bring a little height to what I'm going to place here. And that's going to be these little candles that I got at Dollar Rama. No, Dollar Tree, sorry. I always forget where I get things. Anyways, I'm going to place these cute little nutcrackers and their candles I will never light them not up here anyway on either side of the sign and then I'm just gonna work a little bit down below and add these beautiful green sparkly trees Bot bottle brush trees I guess is what you want to call them and then I'm gonna put this cute gingerbread Santa Claus right in the center so that he's I guess my focal point Mind you, the whole thing here is a bit over the top, but I wanted the kitchen this year to be a little bit over the top. And now I'm going to place these cute little candy cane trees on either side of my Santa. And those are new. All my little candy cane trees came from Michael's this year. They were buy one, get one free. Anyways, um, I bought a few little ones. They are actually ornaments for the Christmas tree, but I'm going to use them here. And yeah, I'm just going to place them along the houses. And then I'm going to call this area done.
so many little adjustments, always making it shift this way or shift that way. My goodness, it's amazing I get anything done. And now for the second shelf, I'm gonna place these gingerbread signs on either side. And I'm gonna place now my big, beautiful gingerbread house. I had this for about a good year now, maybe two. And um, I just think that being in the center is gonna look cute and complement the top. And it's kinda of gonna look like a little gingerbread village in a kind of sort of way and anyways I'm just gonna stick in our necessary goblets and a few other little cute trinkets like that cute little Santa in his little slippers I just love him he's so cute and then I'm gonna place in my little glass Christmas tree and I just think it's so pretty with a little bit of gold there and now for my gingerbread snowflakes. And I have two, and I'm gonna put on either side of this shelf. And here is that big candle that I got at Value Village. If you saw it in my shopping haul, you'd know. And of course, there's my gingerbread snowflake flanked on either side. I think it looks so cute and very much in theme here. And now my syrups for the coffee. And now for a cute little house that lights up and I have a tiny little sparkly gingerbread man going up there. It's actually one of my earrings. Anyways, I love it. And these cute salt and pepper shakers. And here I have a little spinner and I already put lights underneath here and look at that cute thing go. And now for my tea towel that I usually like to, I guess, display underneath here because it kind of acts as a little focal point and it's so cute to display and my family can't touch it. So, anyways, we're going to hang the gingerbread cups back here, and we're just going to continue on. Look, y'all, 
I love that these cups match my t-shirt. It's so cute and so hilarious. Anyways, I didn't plan that, honestly. But my t-shirt was from Shein this year. So if you want to get one, I hope it's still there. And now to place this little tray here in the middle. It can hold anything, all kinds of necessary items like your salt and pepper or sugar and creamer. But I just have a few candy canes. And now I'm gonna hang this cute little baking sheet that has little gingerbread man on there. So cute. And I'm also now gonna do this other corner and I'm gonna place my Santa Claus. That was a gift from my late cousin and she gave that to me many many years ago back in our 20s she'd probably be surprised i still have it anyways and i also got this keurig in red because it's very festive and i don't know some more cups why not And this cute little gingerbread mug is from Value Village. And I lucked out. She's a good size and I love her. And these cute little gingerbread napkins from Winners I got last year. And we didn't use them up, so they're going to go here. And now for the next corner. I'm just going to wipe it up and once things are looking great, I'm going to add in a few more cookie jars because why not? What's wrong with having a few cookie jars? <laughs> Anyways, there's this Christmas tree cookie jar that I got this year and there's this gingerbread man cookie jar that I've had in the past and he's just a necessary staple with this look in my kitchen. And this cookie jar is in the shape of a little house and it's just gonna house the Keurig cups and it lights up and yeah, this corner is complete. And now I may as well have the kitchen smell like gingerbread. So here's my cute candle. And here we go, complete, at least on this side. I'm loving it. 
the whole Candyland gingerbread theme is turning out. It is cute and I love it. And here I just created a little tiered tray, just adding in a few chocolates and some syrups and of course the utensils for stirring and a few little gingerbread men. And of course I'm going to hide an outlet. I'm going to put my little gingerbread man here. And let's hide this one too. And now for my spatulas. The necessary items for the kitchen. And now for the little shelf above the stove. I've already placed this signage here and you can see I put some greenery with some ribbon up top and two ornaments hanging and I'm gonna place this cute little gingerbread jar on top and my little red Marushka dolls that are measuring cups and this little ornament. And now we're just gonna see my daughter bake some cookies. Her delicious peanut butter cookies. What's a kitchen without cookies? Cookies anyone? Thanks for being here today and I'll see you in the next Decorate.